Vanakkam, this is Gautam. Welcome to Immortal Universe. In this video, we will see about the constructions of stationary anode X-ray tube. Now, let's get started. To build a stationary anode X-ray tube, we need three major components and that is glass tube, cathode and anode. Glass tube is made up of pyrex glass. The reason for using this pyrex glass is it withstands enormous amount of heat without breaking down. And the thickness of the pyrex glass is approximately 4.8 to 5 mm thickness. Now we will see about the cathode. Cathode is the negative side of the X-ray tube and this cathode is made up of two primary parts and that is the filament and focusing cup. And this filament is made up of thoriated tungsten metal. And the reason for using tungsten is it has a high melting point that is 3370 degrees celsius and 1-2% to of thorium is added with the tungsten because it increases the efficiency of thermionic emission. If you want to know the thermionic emission principle detaily, we had done a video for that and I have given a link below the description box, you can go and check it out after this video. The thickness of the filament wire is 0.1 to 0.2 mm and the width of the coil is 1 to 2 mm and the length of the filament wire is 15 mm and this filament is fixed inside the focusing cup. Now we'll see about the focusing cup. This focusing cup is made up of uh, nickel or molybdenum and the reason for using the focusing cup here is to focus the filament electrons to the focal spot of the anode. So, if for example, if there is no focusing cup, what happens is the, all the filament electrons are going to be diverged in all directions. Due to their divergence, not all the electrons are not going to be interact with the anode. And due to that, the intensity of the X-rays are also going to be reduced and those X-rays are not used for the radiograph. Okay, so for, for this reason, we are focusing the electron by using focusing cup. So here we are giving additional strong negative charge to the focusing cup to focus the electron to the focal spot. And this is the reason for using focusing cup in the cathode. At last we will see about the anode. Anode is the positive side of the X-ray tube and this anode is made up of two major parts and that is the tungsten plate and copper block. And the tungsten plate is used as a target metal to produce efficient X-ray. The dimension of the tungsten plate is more than 1 cm and the thickness of the tungsten plate is 2 to 3 mm. And this tungsten plate is embedded with the copper block and the use of copper block is it can dissipate heat immediately so that the tube life will be increased. And the anode angle is usually 15 to 20 degree in the stationary anode X-ray tube. And the reason for anode angle is to radiate the X-ray beam perpendicular to the high velocity electron. If the anode is flat without any angulation, the X-ray photons will radiate opposite to the cathode side, so that the X-ray is useless. To overcome this, the angle is given to the anode. And here, the distance between the anode and cathode is maximum 1 cm. And this stationary anode X-ray tubes are used in dental machines, portable and mobile machines, and C-arm machines. And that's it about the stationary and x-ray tube. I think this video is useful for you. And if you have any doubts or feedbacks on this lecture, feel free to put comments on our comment box. We will try to make it on our upcoming lectures. And if you want to get our upcoming lectures, you can subscribe to our channel. And Nandri Panakam.